Hey, uh, Steve Spencer from SMB Capital here again. I want to do a quick intro to maybe a two or three minute clip from our morning meeting today. And we're going to highlight IWM, which is the ETF that uh, follows the small cap stocks. The reason I wanted to share this clip with you is IWM is a market ETF. It's something when in March, when the market was going really crazy, we were looking at that, the spies, um, the queues. We're looking at those to trade those every day. But when things slowed down in April, we really shifted our focus to the spies. And that's because that's the most widely followed index. It has the cleanest levels to trade off of. So we moved away from IWM. We moved away from the queues, except in special circumstances. So in the case of IWM, the reason that it, several reasons why it caught our attention for today. Number one, um, in the last couple of weeks, the SPY keeps on having trouble above 286. Um, and I think for the large part, this is because it's very narrow what's causing the, the strength in the SPYs. It's these leading technology stocks like Microsoft and um, Amazon um, and these really big mega tech stocks that are causing the strength, and there hasn't been participation from a bunch of other sectors. And so I'm concerned that it may, it potentially wouldn't have, be that strong up in the mid to high 280s. It could move higher, but didn't have as much upside. And so IWM, we took a look at it over the weekend. Um, the chart was starting to actually look a little bit better to me. It was showing relative strength in the last few weeks versus the spies. Now remember, the small caps got crushed on the way down much more than the, the large caps. Um, I think the spies at the low was down low 30s. Um, small caps were down mid 40s percentile, percentages from the high. And so really got crushed. Um, and then over the weekend, a friend of mine actually sent me um, an interesting note or just a short clip that basically said that um, earnings revisions in IWM were down actually 45% or over 40%. I don't remember the exact number, but um, technology revisions were only down 5%. And that's obviously explains the strength in the technology sector. And so you've now got people thinking, okay, we've had this huge rally in technology. The spies are you know, not down much anymore. You're hearing like the big banks and some of these large hedge fund people saying the risk reward isn't good in the market. And when they talk about the market, they mean the S&P. Um, and so, you know, people are thinking, why don't we take a look at the small caps? And so in the morning meeting, we put it on the game plan sheet for the first time in a few weeks, and I discussed two patterns. So take a look at the, the clip. I talk about possible patterns. And the reason why we're talking about possible patterns is you want to be ready to go as the pattern unfolds when the, after the market opens to be ready to act and not be thinking on the fly, oh, it's down, should I buy? It's up, should I buy? What are the possible patterns? Think it out in advance, develop a game plan, how to play that pattern and take advantage. In the pre-market, um, we were really seeing the relative strength um, in IWM versus the spies, I think it was up about 70 more basis points. Maybe it was like 1% versus 1.7. If you look at it now, take a look at this chart, it's up 300 basis points. So it, it even though it was already up more than the spies in the pre-market by 70 basis points, seven tenths of 1%, um, now it's outperforming by 300 basis points, 3%. That's a huge move. Anyway, check out the clip. And um, hopefully this gives you an idea of kind of our preparation process and ha how we kind of identify things in advance kind of game plan out what might happen so we're ready to act when the market opens. Before we get started, we have a two hour free workshop where I spend 30 minutes going through our proprietary stock selection process, where I identify the lowest risk, highest reward stocks each day. And we also go through three top trading setups that we use on our trading desk in New York City. If you're interested in that two hour free workshop, click on the link above or go to tradingworkshop.com and check it out. Um, IWM is showing relative strength of the spies. So if we just take it from in terms of, uh, you know, where did IWM rally to back on the 9th? It got to 124.60, it's there. So this is showing, I mean, on a relative basis, um, showing strength, even the day of the, the Guild News Day, um, this was 123.60 at the, at the after hours high. So it's it's, it's at higher levels than where it was than the SPY was recently. So even though from a bigger picture multi-month, last 12 months situation, the IWM is much weaker than the SPY is. 
um, it's now starting to show signs of relative strength here. If we look at the, the uptrend channel, um, it's, it's moved up into the 130s. So, you know, you get a close above 126. Um, they might try to just push it to like 130 or by tomorrow even. It's just not that liquid. Um, and so we'll see. Let me just zoom in on the last few days just to get a sense of what it's done. So it had this move from 116 to 120. That was the guild day after hours. Um, and since then, it really hasn't had I guess this was pretty good, 120 to 122. That was a $2 drive. So it's had a bunch of $2 drives. You can see them pretty, like here was one, here was one. Um, end of the day, on afternoon on Friday, it was almost three. So it's something like, on days that it has these big updates, like these four or $5, you get the quick, like really strong pop, it'll pull in and it takes out the morning high and then it just, it just goes. I just want to see how big. So it's about an 80 cent range here in the pre-market. Let's say 125 on the open, comes in, they flush it, it holds and starts to hold back above 124. Then I would be thinking something like that. Um, the other odd possibilities are just, it goes above 125 like that. Doesn't really pull back that much and then goes goes from there. So just, just be mentally like ready for this because of the relative strength that it's showing. Um, obviously already up 1.7% in the pre-market, it's, it's a lot uh, versus the SPY, which is 1%.